guys. Um, yeah, very excited that uh, this group was able to clinch the second place uh, overall finish within the conference. Uh, as you guys know, we started out with quite a few injuries to start the season, and um, it's just some ups and downs, and this group has come together and really performed well and could not be more proud of what they've accomplished thus far. Um, but we're not done yet. As you guys know, as Steve mentioned, we are hosting the conference tournament, which we're thrilled about. Um, and getting that second seed is, I think, is a very significant uh, is a very significant seeding and it, based off of how the conference has played out. This last weekend was, or week and a half, was a lot of ups and downs for different teams. And um, again, we were fortunate to clinch that second place, but there was a four-way tie, a four-way tie for eighth through fifth. So it's it was pretty, pretty tight uh, de uh, determining who's going to play whom and, and where and when. So a um, lot of significant things happening this weekend. Um, one of the biggest highlights, I would say, from this weekend for us was Heather Schnars on Saturday. Unbelievable. This, this player has done something that I don't think anyone else in the country has done all year. She's a six-rotation player. She hit 18 kills, one error, on 24 attempts for a 708 hitting percentage. That's unheard of. I mean, for a middle blocker who is typically your most efficient uh, attackers in the front row, um, I mean, the top blockers, middle blockers that are attacking in the country are probably at, Charlie, what, four, five hundred percent? Just to give you perspective, most outside hit hitters that are six rotation outside hitters, their hitting percentage, if they're hitting above a 250, is good. She has 708. <laughs> That's, I mean, it's just insane. Um, and obviously, we'd love to have that on our team. Um, she also had a double-double in that same match. She had 11 digs. Um, She's just a phenomenal, phenomenal player who f just finds a way. She simply finds a way. She also had uh, three service aces or four service aces, four service aces in that match. Um, I mean, she just went to a whole nother level. So it was, it was really fun to be a part of. And, um, you know, I think a lot of our young players throughout the season have really done a good job of studying her. Uh, to, to have an opportunity to have an All-American in your gym and a, in a, a previous player of the year in your, of, your, of your conference in your gym every single day, uh, to see the work ethic, to see the coachability, um, and just the efficiency that she trains at is is huge. And so I know they've been taking notes, uh, which we're thrilled of. Could, again, could not be more proud of our team that that they came together and found a way to finish out this regular season and uh, finish out the regular season in second. And you know, I had a, a former AD that used to always say, "If you can't be first, be second. If you can't be second, be third. And you know, we after losing the match on Thursday to a very good uh, Southeast Louisiana. Southeastern Louisiana team, um, you know, we had a big choice in front of us. We could have continued to fold or we could have stepped up and said, you know what, we're better than this and we can play better and we're going to show that we're better. And we made that choice. So I was really, really pleased to see us uh, come together and do that.